We've all been there. That moment of panic when you're about to leave the house and then you realize that your smartphone's battery is at 5% and you decide to grab that trusty fast charger. Now, here's a question that might make you even more anxious. Is that lightning fast charger you depend on actually killing your smartphone and shaving off some moons from your battery's lifespan? Today, we are diving into the world of fast charging. It's convenient, it's popular, but is it as harmless as we think? Stick around because what you learn in the next few minutes might just save your phone's life and also your wallet. And so without taking much of your time, yo guys, let's get started. So how do batteries and fast charging work? Let's go back to the basics. Your smartphone's battery isn't just a bucket you fill up with electricity or charge. It's more like a complex chemical dance party. Inside every lithium ion battery, which is on these smartphones, Ions are constantly moving between the positive and negative electrodes. When you charge your smartphone, you're basically telling these ions to go back to the negative side. Now, here's where fast charging comes in. Imagine you're trying to fill up, let's say, a water balloon. Normal charging is like using the regular faucet. You know, it's steady and safe. Fast charging, on the other hand, is like using a fire hose. Sure, it gets the job done quicker, but it puts a lot of pressure and stress on the balloon, or in our case, the smartphone's battery. Also think of your battery as a marathon runner. Regular charging is like a steady jog, keeping the runner's energy somewhat consistent. Fast charging on the other hand is like sprinting full speed. Sure, you reach the finish line faster, but at what cost? The wear and tear on the runner or the battery here could be significant over time. Now the real culprit here is heat. When you push too much current too quickly into a battery, it generates heat, no doubt. And heat, my friends, is kryptonite for batteries. It can cause the materials inside to break down faster, leading to reduced capacity and shorter overall lifespan. Anything above 35 degrees Celsius, which is about 95 degrees Fahrenheit for those across the Atlantic, is cause for concern and prolonged exposure could be hurting your smartphone's battery more than you realize. Now, here's a question for you. Have you ever noticed your smartphone getting uncomfortably warm during charging? Drop a comment below, I'd love to hear your experiences. Now let's talk about the long-term effects of this heat generation. Over time, repeated fast charging can lead to reduced battery capacity. Your once all day battery might start tapping out by lunchtime. Secondly, in extreme cases, you might experience swelling. The battery can physically expand, potentially damaging the device. And thirdly here, it gives you shorter overall lifespan. Instead of lasting two to three years, your battery might need replacing in just a year. I recently heard from a viewer, let's call her Mara, who said her smartphone's battery life dropped by 30%, almost 30% actually, after six months of exclusively using fast charging. Now, that's not to say fast charging was the only factor here, but it certainly played a role. But before you swear off fast charging forever, let's talk about the solutions here. Also, hit on the like button and subscribe to this channel if you're new here and love tech content. Thank you. Now, back to the video. Here are some practical tips to minimize the risks. One, avoid excessive heat. Take your smartphone out of a case while charging and also do not leave it in direct sunlight. Use manufacturer approved chargers. That 500 Naira charger you get at the corner store might be tempting, but it's not really worth the risk. Thirdly, you have to practice smart charging habits. Try to keep your battery between 20 to 80% most of the time. Extremes like zero or 100% put extra stress on the battery. Now, if you want to push it, I would say, use fast charging sparingly. Save it for when you really need it, not as your default charging method. Now, here's a challenge for you. For the next week, try implementing these tips and monitor your battery's performance. You might be surprised at the difference it makes. Now, I know what you're thinking, but I need my phone charged quickly. I hear you. The good news is that the tech industry is aware of these issues. Many manufacturers have put things in place like quickly charging to some extent and then doing the trickle charge strategy, which goes a long way in helping these batteries. They are also working on new battery technologies and smarter charging algorithms that balance speed and battery health. And here's the big takeaway. Fast charging isn't inherently evil, but it does come with risks. By understanding it and using it wisely, you can enjoy the convenience without sacrificing your battery's longevity. Remember, every charge cycle counts. Your habits today will determine whether your smartphone stays a high performance machine or becomes a paperweight in a year. It's all about finding that sweet spot between convenience and longevity. By the way, here's why you might want to consider a mid-range smartphone over the flagship $1,000 smartphone. See you there. 
Cuídate.